ericmoavithmother.com as a follow-up to this video which I did yesterday talking about RSI and moving averages, how you can compare them and how they can relate to each other. Just want to take a look and discuss this period here where we can see clearly this was a fake move in the stock or ETF before finally resolving lower. So let's take a look at that in relationship to the moving average, the 50-day moving average, and in relationship to the RSI. All right, let's do that. So what I was trying to propose in the previous video is how the RSI is also another form of moving average. Let me explain that. So here we can see there's a period where we have movement above the 50-day moving average. Let's call it an extension way above the 50-day moving average. Ultimately, what happens after that is we have a reversal low. right? So we can see even without too much analysis that this actually was a trap in the stock because it trapped people to go along. People are buying the breakout. It looked like it was going to record even higher prices. Ultimately, it fails, right? So this is definitely a trap and a well-engineered trap at that, right? All right. So I want to show you how the RSI could have, well, I don't want to say could have, but how the RSI on hindsight, even though if you are watching this and you can't understand what to look for, it was pretty much there if you, if you saw it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line connecting the previous RSI highs. So you see it connects here, here, touches that high, this double top. So the market is very aware of this line. Now notice what happens when we move above the line. Prices move higher. Now what I'm going to do is the trick here is, and I know it's a stretch, but just bear with me because I see this all the time. I'm going to take this line and see what happens now. The extension of the line actually gives us the break point. This break point right there, which corresponds with this price breaking down here. We haven't been back to those levels in terms of RSI and in terms of price. So a break and a break. In fact, let me change that. So this break here is earlier. It is this break here. It is actually this break. So an earlier break point right there. All right. Now you could have used that to get out because in other words, all this movement here. Now, let me, before I do that, so I don't confuse what we are trying to achieve here. Let me go and extend this line. And guess what? The same line on extension comes back and is now being back tested. We can see that if this also fails. So if this fails, just like it did here during this phase, then it is predicting that the next meaningful direction is going to be lower. So back to the point I'm trying to make, the RSI can be looked as being a measure of average price action. Actually, it is. It is a, some type of a moving average. Now, notice here the way we are extended way above the 50-day moving average, that period there. Notice how this period of the RSI is fake because it is above the line and back below it. In other words, it looks like what the market is trying to tell us that this was a fake move. Erase that. In other words, this here should never have happened. And it all makes sense because after this quick move, ultimately we drift lower. And then later on, we see how the 50-day moving average is coming back to test that line, the 200, the 50-day moving average, and how the RSI is coming back to test the same line so there seems to be a relationship between the moving average and the RSI. Eric Moadith, mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see, S.